What initial investigation should we consider in primary care for a patient with a high corrected calcium? As investigations, we should organize blood tests in order to check a full blood count, renal function tests, as hypercalcemia can cause renal impairment, sodium and potassium to assess for electrolyte imbalances that may coexist, to check a repeat corrected calcium to ensure that it is not a lab error, also to check phosphate levels and alkaline phosphatase, which may suggest bone involvement, such as malignancy or Paget's disease. Also to test for vitamin D levels to assess for vitamin D intoxication or deficiency. To check magnesium levels, as magnesium abnormalities, usually hypomagnesemia, can also be associated to hypercalcemia. To measure PTH, to determine whether the hypercalcemia is PTH dependent or PTH independent. The blood test is also to check thyroid function tests, given that hyperthyroidism can also cause hypercalcemia. And we should also check serum protein electrophoresis if multiple myeloma is suspected. We should consider additional tests depending on the clinical context, 